Praise the Lord, saints of the Most High God. I'm Mother Gail Trailer. This is just in case. Just in case you didn't open up that word. Just in case you skipped through the house, and took that shower, got those kids ready, made that breakfast, prepared your meal for the evening, had to go to work. Just in case. See, I don't want you to miss out on God's blessing. And I don't want to miss out either because I need to read his word. I need to walk in the light. I need to remind myself of what he has done for me and what he's doing and what he's going to do and who I am and who how I am to act and what you mean to me and just so much. In my natural self, I can't do it. But in Christ, I can do all things because he strengthens me. Well, let's start praying and let's see what God has for us today. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for every blessing. We thank you for courage. We thank you for strength. And Lord, we thank you for your abiding presence. Lord, take us out of self into your spirit realm. Deliver us from evil. And Lord, help us to walk this walk. Not just talk it, but to walk it. And to retain, Lord Jesus, your word. Hide it in our hearts and minds. Forgive us, please, for all unrighteousness. And Lord, just in case, Father God, we forget, let the Holy Spirit remind us today to pray without ceasing and most of all to give you thanks. We ask these and all other blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Uh, in the journal written by Sarah Young, Jesus Calling, the Lord gave her uh, scripture to consider. Gave her scripture for us to share out of the word of God. I know if you've read it before. It comes out of the book of James. First chapter 2 to 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that te the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I want to be mature. I want to be complete. I want everything God has for me. So we endure the test and we endure the trial. We're in a test right now. It's a testing of our faith. And, and at first we look at our situation in the natural and we say, oh my gosh, uh, this is wrong and that's wrong and what are we going to do and how are we going to make it and suppose this happens. And then that imagination kicks in and we put on that uh, CinemaScope movie with all the cast. And, and most of the time, the uh, final ending of that movie that we imagine in our minds, that final scene will show us, oh, Father God, that we are not going to make it, that it's going to end in, in a terrible way, and it's a sad ending. But God, I was reading in Hebrews the other day. And every other sentence or every sentence by faith is mentioned. By faith. Do you know that without faith it's impossible to please God? Do you know that the just must live by faith? Do you have faith that no matter what you go through, that he's in control and that he's working it out and that he's blessing and keeping and that he is orchestrating this to mature you to bring forth fruit to use you and to show you all so count it all joy James says consider it pure joy my brethren Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. How is your faith tested? 
It's tested sometimes in your physical person. It's tested sometimes in your circumstances, uh, you know, all around you, in your home, on your job, uh, up and down the highway and the byway of life, and just test it. He can use whatever to test you. And that testing brings forth maturity. Because in our minds, we don't, um, we're, we're, we're challenged to take down vain imaginations, cast them down. We're challenged to think on his goodness. We're challenged to thank him and to praise him for all things. We're challenged by, it makes us draw closer to him. It makes us draw closer to him. So count it all joy. He's developing maturity in us so that he can present you to the world. That's what he's doing. It may cause us to, to have some pain or, or to, to sometimes we get weak and we look at these trials and, you know, you, you're tempted to feel sorry for yourself. But God says, the word says, count it, consider it joy that you've been chosen to be worked on by the Most High God. He's perfecting you. He's polishing. And, and no testing for the present time seems to be joyous. It doesn't, but it brings forth fruit. It brings, brings forth fruit. And this too shall pass. It always does. We live in time. In eternity, there's nothing to pass because it's, there's no time in eternity. But while we're here in this present age, in our lifetime, this too shall pass. The good days, the bad days, the tears, the sorrows, it passes. This too shall pass. So count it all joy. He's with us. He said he'd never leave us nor forsake us, and he won't. He won't. And he hasn't. Uh-huh. This is not our first rodeo, is it? Is it? Then uh, the Lord gave Sarah another scripture. You find it in the 107th Psalm, verses 21 to 22. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love, and his wonderful deeds for men. Let them sacrifice thanks offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy. Oh my goodness, this morning I decided to get up. To get up, to change my routine. Sometime you can do that. I got up, got dressed, put on my neon colored uh, clothing. Uh, my husband had a vest and I took my uh, staff <laughs> it is a curtain rod, a big old wooden curtain rod. And I walked. I walked. And uh, I, I do this so that I can, um, you know, it's deer season out there. And I met one deer as he hopped across and a rabbit and some possum and stuff. And I just don't want to bump into none of them. So I, I walked. But the Lord gave me a song. Listen to it. I am determined to hold out to the end. If Jesus goes with me on him, I can depend. For I know I have salvation. I can feel him in my soul. I am determined to hold out to the end. That was the song he gave me out of where? Out of nowhere. That song came from way back in the 60s. When I went to the uh, Apostolic Church on 125th Street and Lenox Avenue, Refuge Temple, Bishop William Lee Varner. Oh my goodness, we sang that song. I am determined to hold out. And that song encouraged me through the walk, up and, and down and, you know, just, just walking, walking. And I came back home and... I was just refreshed, blessed. 
and thankful to have a God so big and so loving and caring that he cares for me to protect me and keep me and bless my husband and my children. So I sing praises. I sing praises. Now, that was the 107, Psalms 107, 21 to 22. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy. Offer thanks offerings and tell of his goodness through your testimony, through your life. Now, the Lord gave her this, and I'll share this with you. She wrote this in her devotional, 365 David devotional for October 14th. Be prepared to suffer for me. In my name, all suffering has meaning in my kingdom. Pain and problems are opportunities to demonstrate your trust in me. Bearing your circumstances bravely, even thanking me for them, is one of the highest forms of praise. This sacrifice of thanksgiving rings golden tone bells of joy throughout heavenly realms. On earth also, your patient suffering sends out ripples of good tidings in ever-widening circles. When suffering strikes, remember that I am sovereign and that I can bring good out of everything. Do not try to run from pain or hide from problems. Instead, accept adversity in my name, offering up to me for my purposes. Thus, your suffering gains meaning and draws you closer to me. Joy emerges from the ashes of adversity through your trust and thankfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can go through, can't we? With Christ, we can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. God bless you today. Think on his goodness. Praise him for the suffering. Because this too passes. That's what just took me through the last test. I kept thinking, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. I remember I was having a baby. Um, my first baby. And uh, I don't know, it just came to my mind. And it was 10 something in the morning and the pains were coming and it was hard and it was rough and oh my goodness. You know, you go through some, some suffering when you're in labor. And I said to myself, you know, at six o'clock this evening, the six o'clock news will come on and I won't have this pain. I'll be looking at the news. And somehow, you know, that, that's a way of thinking. This too shall pass. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. I love you. Keep me in your prayers. Because I'm determined. I know you're determined as well. God bless you and keep you. And count it all joy, honey. Count it all joy. Because he's maturing us, shaping us, molding us. Shaving down those rough, rough edges. Oh my goodness, we're on the potter's wheel. He's beautifying the meek with salvation. Hallelujah. Go fake you. May God bless you and keep you. I'm Mother Gail Trailer, and I am just passing through.